Good morning, Miss Faye. Well, good morning, Miss Margaret. And how are you? I'm great today. How are you? I, you know what? What? When I woke up this morning, the first thing I said was, "This is the day the Lord has made." Yes, ma'am. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm so glad to see you. Thank you. And I'm so glad to see you. Well, glad to see you too. We're gonna pretend we're seeing you Hi. out there. Hello. We're glad you're with us. And you know what? I was just putting up a new bulletin board. It looks very nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. You notice it's all about fruit. Fruit. My of favorite course. thing. Oh, yes, yes. Of course, you can't eat this fruit. No. No. But the fruit are doing something that I really love. What do you see in the fruit? They're smiling. They're smiling. They're smiling. I'm calling these my joyful fruits cool. because it just so happens that we are going to be talking about Joy. Joy today. So therefore, I want to at hmm. Miss Margaret, what an interesting shirt. You it's an have awesome there. shirt. Yeah, it <clears throat> kind of is, I guess. It's you, orange. I, I noticed that. Orange is a fruit. Yep, orange is a fruit, and you are certainly orange today. <laughs> and I take it you're a Clemson fan. Oh yes, ma'am. I thought so. Well I went it, to Clemson University. <laughs> Aren't you just the Clemson person? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, it just so happens that I'm a Alabama fan. I'm sorry. I, what can I say? Roll Tide. There we are. So let me ask you this. Okay. Okay. Let's let's pretend this. All Pretending. Right? All right. We are going to have a championship football game between Clemson and Alabama. We've done that a few times. Yes, we have actually. We have definitely done that a few times. And this particular game is very exciting because Alabama scores, Clemson scores, Alabama scores, Clemson scores, Alabama scores, Clemson scores. There's five seconds left in the game. And we're tied? And we are tied. Ooh. Five seconds, and then Clemson scores a field goal and wins the game. Yeah! All right. You're happy, aren't I'm you? I'm so excited. I'm not happy. No, I'm not happy. No, no. But let's say we've got those five seconds left, okay? Tied game, and Alabama scores a field, uh, touchdown and wins. No, wait. How come Alabama gets to score a touchdown and we only scored a field goal? Because I'm telling the story. <laughs> so, all right. Now, I'm happy, and you're sad. That's right. So you see, happy kind of comes and it kind of goes, depending on what's going on around you. True. In fact, let me tell you another example. The other day, I was in the grocery store. Okay. And I'm walking down the ice cream aisle. And there it is, right there. The only one. Bluebell ice cream, pecan pralines, and cream. And it said... You know what? You've had a lo a rough day. I might make you happy if you buy me and take me home and eat me. And you know what I did? You bought the ice cream. I did. And I took it home and I ate it. Was it good? Oh, it was so good. It was delicious. It just ooh, it I was happy. It made me so happy. In fact, it was so good. I had another dish later. And then it was so so good. I had one more dish before I went to bed. You finished it all? Well, not all. Okay. But I had three really nice, lovely bowls, and I was very happy until the next morning. <laughs> I stepped on the scale, and I gained a pound. I was very not happy. So, see, happiness comes. And happiness, happiness goes. Happiness goes, yeah. But there is a word that stays, and it is the word Joy. joy. In fact, there's even a song, Miss There There is a song about joy. So let's do the song about joy. So You really want me to sing? I really want you to sing. All right, here we go. All right. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. Aha. Uh -huh. To stay. You see, joy doesn't come and go. Even if your team wins or if your team loses, you're still going to have that joy. Where does that joy come from? Now, there's a chorus that goes to that song that talks about where that, cor that joy comes from. So, the chorus says, And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. 
I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. There's only one thing wrong. The wonderful singing, by the way. Thank you so much. I don't there was only one thing wrong with that. It said, I'm so happy. Happy comes, happy goes. We could change it. What do you think? And I'm so joyful, so very joyful. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so joyful, so very joyful. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was perfect. That was wonderful. You guys can sing it like that, That's too. right. You can, you can change because, you see, happy comes, happy goes, joy stays. In fact, Jesus said something very important. Remember, he said he was the true vine, and we are the branches, and we are to bear fruit. bear fruit. And then Jesus told his disciples, he said, these things, talking about bearing the fruit, I've spoken to you that my joy, Jesus' joy, may remain in you. It stays. It remains. And that your joy may be full. So we have the joy of Jesus in our hearts, and it's going to stay, and it makes us full, even when things don't always go our way. Sometimes things are just not good. Not so good. You know, and right now is a really hard time. We're stuck at home and we can't get out and all those things. That doesn't mean we lose our joy. joy. We keep our joy because it's Jesus' joy because Jesus is in our hearts and Jesus loves us. His love doesn't come and go either. No, it his stays, love stays. No matter what. So we have Jesus' love, we have Jesus' joy, and it's going to remain right in our hearts. In fact, there's another verse that I really like, and it comes from the book of Nehemiah. Chapter 8, verse 10 says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. strength. So that helps us to stay strong, to be joyful no matter what goes on. So now, this week, this is what I want you to do. I want you to have a joy-filled, joy-filled week, and one time a day, I want you to. It could be the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning. That'd be a good time. That'd for be it. a good time. Before you even say anything else, say, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So, we want you to have a joyful, joyful. week. See y'all next week. Have a good one. Thank you, Miss Margaret. You're that welcome. was wonderful.